morning. Welcome back. I'm here at the space in Cave Creek, Arizona. Beautiful oasis for lots of different classes and energy healing and training. And I'm blessed to be able to come here a couple times a week to, to work. So share this beautiful spot with you, this sacred spot, and I just welcome you back. So we're gonna start today in child's pose. So go ahead and find a nice comfortable position, letting the knees fall out wide, letting the big toes connect. Take a moment just to sit back on the heels, just to soften into the knees and hips. You don't need any props today, um, but you're welcome to have anything that helps make just your class a little bit easier. So we'll go ahead and slowly extend ourselves forward. Finding a place of rest that works for you. Maybe wiggle a little side to side. Just a little massage into the hips. Lengthen out through the arms. Let your heart and belly melt down towards the earth. Arms can rest. And then once you find that place of rest on your mat, Take a moment to just surrender and accept and be with what is. Take a moment to be in your body, to become present with any noises around you, allowing thoughts to come and go. As you sink in towards Mother Earth, take a moment to connect to the breath. Allowing the inhales and exhales to flow in and out through the nose. Allowing the belly, the abdomen to fill with fresh oxygen as you inhale. As you exhale, allow yourself to soften through the abdomen, through the heart. And again, surrender into this moment. Where can you soften a little more? Where are you feeling some tension? It's okay to find a little wiggle, a little movement, maybe massaging the third eye space into the earth. Breathing in through the nose, down through the base of the spine, become grounded and anchored. Exhaling through the abdomen, becoming centered, peaceful and calm. Let's take two more breaths here. From here, let's slowly rise up to a tabletop. We'll pull the knees under the hips, maybe rock a little side to side, just wiggle anything out. Maybe curl the toes under, maybe press back the heels to stretch out your toes, spread the fingers, fan them wide, let the knuckles connect down to the earth. And then from here, walk the hands forward just a little bit. We're gonna walk our left leg in towards center. And then we're gonna step our right leg around. So we're coming into this shoelace legs. You can fan the feet a little bit wider here. Pull the belly to spine, spread the shoulder blades wide. And on your inhale, go ahead and drop the belly, lift the tailbone, pull the shoulders back, lift the chin, gaze up. Exhale, press away from the earth as you tuck and round through the spine. Inhale, drop the belly, tailbone lifts, 
shoulders stretch back, open up the throat. Exhale, tuck and ground. Take a couple more of these cow calves. Remember, I am simply guiding you. So as you're moving through this, if something else calls to you, if you want to go a little deeper, press back, maybe feel free. Coming back to neutral, swing that left foot back, unwrap that right leg, take a moment here, and then we'll scoot the right knee in, step the left leg around, maybe spread the feet a little bit wider, let the tailbone press back, belly in, inhale, drop the belly, lift the tailbone, exhale, tuck and round. Moving slowly here, stay connected to your breath. Allow yourself to remain present. So as thoughts come and go, just staying connected to the breath in this practice. Let's take one more. Slowly come back through. Take the right foot back. We'll unwind here. And then let's just sit back on our heels. Flare the elbows out. Step the hands. Rest the forehead. Two breaths here. We say the more quiet you are, the more you hear. Breathe into that. We'll slowly press ourselves up. Let's curl our toes under. We're gonna lift our hips and knees, walk to the back of the mat, and then heel toe our feet wide. Sit right down into a yogi squat. So if you have a walk and you'd like to sit on the walk, go ahead and do that. Take a moment to maybe rock a little bit side to side. Nice little massage into the feet, lift the toes. You want to think of anchoring the tailbone down. So yogi squat, you know, first one in the morning, maybe your first practice for you today, you might feel pretty tight. So take a moment just to find a little movement where you can soften it a little bit deeper. Beautiful, coming back through the center. Drop your hands down. Let's lift the tailbone up. Find a forward fold here. So heels are in, toes are out. Take a moment just to rock a little side to side. We're awakening and opening the body, the windows that are in our body through breath, through movement. Come back through to center. Let's go ahead and sit back down, hands to heart. Drop the hands, lift the hips, forward fold. And exhale, sit back down. Let's take two more. Last one together. Drop the hands, lift the hips, heel toe our feet back in alignment. Find a forward fold. Let's grab opposite elbows. Take a moment just to sway side to side. Release the ribs side to side. Let the head bow, yes and no. Find a nice little balance here, maybe bending into the knees, whatever feels good. And then release the hands. Let's slowly anchor into the earth down into the feet, ragdoll our way up slowly. Crown of the head is the last to come up. Arms down by our side, palms forward. Let's take a moment here in active tadasana mountain pose. 
So start to tap into the four pads of the feet, spread the toes wide, lift up through the body, soften shoulders down away from the ears. Breathe. Go ahead and connect your hands to Anjali Mudra. Pull that mudra into the heart. Soften shoulders. Connect the fingertips. And then slowly with the eyes closed, trust yourself to take a walking meditation to the top of your mat. And when you arrive, just pause here. Anchor into this pose. Release the arms down by your side. On your inhale, reach the arms up to the sky. And on the exhale, forward fold through the heart all the way down. Feel free to micro-bend into the knees. Inhale, half lift. Spine is long, shoulders down away from the ears. Exhale and bow. Press into the feet, root to rise. Reach up, anchor down. And we're going to ohm our way into our heart. Hands down, inhale and up. Exhale and bow, welcoming in the sun, welcoming in the new day. Inhale, half lift. Exhale and bow into your heart. Root to rise, you reach down into the feet, you lift up. Last one. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Half lift. Hard at Uttanasana. Exhale and bow. Root to rise. So just a nice gentle bend into the knees, sit back into the heels, let your tailbone lengthen, find this long line of energy, but you're supported into the earth. And then inhale the arms straight out in front of you, thumbs up, the shoulders down and back. Take an inhale here and reach. Exhale, we'll take a little bounce as we go down to the earth and sweep the arms back. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, open the heart. Hips forward. Inhale and reach. Exhale, sit back into your chair. Slowly sweep the arms back, go a little bit deeper. Inhale it all the way up. Open the heart. Inhale and reach. And exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, lengthens you to your half lift. Exhale, bow, humbly fold into your heart. Let's take a giant step back with our left foot. We'll take the left knee down. And we'll come up onto our low lunge here. So inhale the arms up. Pull the right hip back and then anchor down into the feet. Reach here, take an inhale. And on the exhale, hinge forward like we did in chair and sweep the arms back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, open the arms. Open your heart, lift the chin. Inhale and reach. On the exhale, we'll plant the hands down, curl the back toes under, step forward maybe about an inch or two, rising up to our pyramid pose. Both legs straight, pull the right hip back. Take a moment to find length. You can pull up towards the hips if you'd like or just lengthen. And then exhale, bow. Connect to your breath if you've lost it. Beautiful walk.
walk the hands forward, bend into the front knee, step the back foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms back, half lift. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. This time we're gonna reach up straight forward with the arms, inhale with a flat back all the way up. Connect the fingers and to that universal vibration within us. Connect to your heart space. Take a couple breaths here. Anchor into the feet. And just notice who you are when you arrive here. No judgments or stories. Just beautiful you. Inhale the arms up. Let's flip the palms and fly all the way down. Inhale, fly back. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, release it down. Let's take a step back with our right foot. Lower down to that low lunge. Pulling that left hip back. Anchoring into the feet. Take an inhale here and reach. On the exhale, hinge forward. Find length, find space, reach back. Inhale it up. Exhale, open. Inhale it up. Exhale, release the hands down, curl the back toes under. Your pyramid pose here. Take a moment to pull the left hip back, find length, create space, breathe. Exhale, bow humbly towards this leg. Feel free to rinse the head, the neck. Let the skin of the face be soft. Just give yourself a break here. Gaze forward, walk the hands forward, bend into the left knee, step forward, forward fold. Inhale, slide the hands up, half lift. Exhale and bow. Press into the feet, root to rise. Exhale into your heart. Take a moment to connect to yourself. to the feet. And just open your wings. So inhale and open. Maybe find an arch in the back, some the hips forward. And on the exhale, bend it to the knees. Tuck the tailbone, wrap it around. Inhale, open and fly. Exhale, round. One more. Inhale and open. Exhale and round. Forward fold all the way down. Inhale, lengthen through. Exhale, releases you down. Let's bend into our knees, sit back into our chair, sweep the arms up. Just connect to your breath here. Take a little bounce. Let's take our right arm down and all the way back, pulling that left knee back. This feels awkward. You can always plant your hand in the sacrum of the low back. And we'll release it down, come back to our chair, and then sink down, open to the other direction. Try to keep the knees parallel with one another. Soften through the shoulders. And up to standing. Open the heart. And close it. Go ahead and interlace your fingers. We'll press our palms straight out in front of us. Soften through the sides of the neck and the shoulders. Really stretch into the hands. Inhale the arms up. And exhale, forward fold. Release the fingers down. Inhale to half, half lift. 
exhale and fold. Let's bend into our knees, come down onto our shins, sit back on our heels. Turn to face you. And take a moment here, hands down on the thighs, just close the eyes, arriving down to the mat, down to the earth, connect the feet, shins. As you inhale, just sit up nice and tall. And on the exhale, drop the right ear to the right shoulder. Pull your chin in towards the spine. Have a stretch here. Inhale it up and exhale over to the other side. From here, let's take our chin down towards our chest and over to the other side. So just taking these very gentle neck rolls. And this what shows up. And just breathe through it. Try to soften through the shoulders a little bit more. The chin finds the chest, pause, and inhale the head up. Beautiful release your fingertips by your side. Let's slowly float the right arm up and exhale. As we take it up and over, can you press out into that right hip to get a little bit of a deeper stretch, almost like you're pressing yourself away from the earth. Pull the thumb back, really open up through the armpit and the lymph nodes. Feel the space of the ribs here in your intercostals. Feel that opening. Let the breath flow through. Inhale both arms up. Exhale to the other side. So press the left hip. Inhale, both arms up. Let's ohm into our heart. From here, let's rock on to one hip. We'll extend the legs straight out in front of us for a forward fold. Remove that fleshy goodness from underneath you. Really engage into your sit bones. Pull the toes back towards the body. Hands down by your side, sitting up nice and tall, dandas in the stick pose. If you find you're kind of dumping into the low back, you're kind of rounded here, fold up a towel or a blanket, sit on the edge of it, give yourself a little lift. Take an inhale here, lift your heart, and on the exhale, fold forward to your degree. Maybe you can link the peace fingers around your big toes to give you a little pull. Hands can stay on the earth. Just honor where you are in this practice. Soften into your breath. Soften into your body. This pose stretches you from really the tips of your toes all the way up the back body, out the crown of the head. Slowly slide the hands up the tops of the legs as you inhale the crown of the head up. We'll sco scooch down onto our mat, coming to our back. Have the knees bent, feet planted. Take a moment here to just anchor into the earth. So let the spine connect, let your tailbone connect, the shoulders, the back. And then we'll lift our feet off the earth. Pretend you're just sitting in a little chair here. Take your arms either out to the side or overhead, whichever one feels best. And we'll slowly let the knees drop over to the right side like you're sitting in a chair. You can place your right hand on top of the left leg. 
Let the heels be maybe under the knees. And then slowly gaze over to the left if that feels okay in your head and neck. And just soften here in this twist, this last little ring out. Again, just staying present in the body and in your practice. the right hand, belly to spine, so really engage that belly into the spine as you use your core to lift the legs and the feet back off, and then over to the other side. This right arm can be open to full post, it can be down by your side, wherever you're feeling comfortable with it, left hand can put a little bit of light pressure on the outside of the right leg. Gazing right if that feels okay in the head and neck. Otherwise, just stay gazing up through center. Just breathing here in the body. As you rinse out the spine, you rinse out the chakras. You're just cleansing the body here. Just letting go of anything you've been kind of hanging on to. The best thing you can do here to quiet your mind is just follow your breath in and out through the nose. Belly to spine will slowly come back out. From here, just kick your legs up to the sky, flex through the feet, arms down by your side. Take a moment to slowly bend into your knees, let your heels drop, and then inhale them back up. Exhale and drop. Inhale them back up. And this time we'll drop our heels down, Interlace our hands around our shins, pull our forehead, curl up into a tight little ball, and release it down, feet down, knees up. Take a moment to walk the feet wide, let the knees knock in towards one another, left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. We'll just finish today's practice with a little box breathing that will guide you through. Take a cleansing breath in. Big sigh out. <sighs> Seal the lips. Inhale through the nose. Count of one, two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Pause. Inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause, inhale, one, two, three, four, hold, exhale, four, three, two, one, pause. Take two more rounds.
final pause. Just let your natural breath flow. I'd like to stay here for Shavasana. You can go ahead and open the legs out. You can plant the arms by your side or keep them around your body. Feel free to stay as long as you'd like, honoring your practice and your time, whatever that looks like. I'll leave you with this beautiful yoga vow. Be patient to your restlessness. Be kind to your body. Be grateful for the opportunity of just being here. Feel driven by the unique chance to learn a little more and to know yourself a little deeper. Stay with your heart beating. Notice how your body feels by just moving for 20 minutes or so and connecting to your breath and connecting to the earth. 